So we hear the KVM here in Taipei, and uh, who are you? My name is Hoshino. I'm in charge of server planning in Gigabyte. So uh, right here we have um, the latest Thunder X2 solution uh, from Gigabyte. Um, so how soon is this ready? Yeah, that's a very good solution, and uh, I think it's the best solution, uh, ARM solution uh, in the um, in this year. And uh, we are now put a lot of uh, engineering resource on that, and uh, I think we will launch this um, amazing solution uh, with Kevin together in the end of this year. Because uh, you, you've been working on the previous generations Thunder X also, you have products out there and which, what are the customers that use Thunder X, the first generation? Yeah, uh, that's a history story. Uh, uh, in Gigabyte, we have an experience of uh, server developing around uh, 17 years and uh, just uh, four years ago, we started to focus on ARM servers and uh, we are the pl uh, pioneer of ARM market. And uh, the first solution, uh, we developed the ARM64 uh, solution with APM, a Micro. And uh, they are more focused on the entry ARM servers, use the one socket solution. And uh, uh, the second solution we uh, developed is the Sound X and uh, almost uh, more than three years ago. And uh, we do the CRB developing uh, with Kevin and, uh, and the launch the mass production version and product uh, in last year. And uh, we are uh, targeting the mainstream, something like cloud and uh, data center and the storage market and the use uh, SoundX solution. So this one, for example, has a whole bunch of hardware slots. Uh, can you describe what is this? Uh, this is a prototype uh, development. What is this? Yeah, for the SoundX2 solution, uh, that's the new solution, not uh, mass production yet. And uh, we start to uh, develop this solution uh, in last years. And um, that's a total different solution uh, from the SoundX1 because the CPU performance was, will be much higher. And uh, in SoundX1 generation, we just used the uh, standard servers, uh, standard form factor in uh, general purpose server chassis. But for SoundX2, it's different. You can see this motherboard. It's not a uh, standard form factor. It's an optimized form factor. Optimized? Optimized, yeah. You can see um, for, with this optimized design, um, we can support a uh, much more higher performance uh, and the spike in this 2U uh, form factor. Like the rear I.O. side, you can see we can support two OCP. Two OCP? CP add-on car here. One and two. So what do those do? It can support uh, OCP um, add-on car. Like if you want to increase some um, land, land spec, even the race spec, we have the OCP card to su support the function. And uh, also we uh, develop this kind of riser with the optimized design. So riser? Riser card. Here's the riser card. Insert right to the uh, proprietary uh, slot on the motherboard. And can transfer the uh, PCIe signal upside to the riser car slot and uh, thanks to this kind of design we can support total uh, eight add-on car in the rear I.O. It's eight. very high. Eight. Two OCP and eight add-on cars. And this uh, this is something you've never been able to do before? or? Yeah, this is the uh, first generation to do this kind of very high spec, uh, rear I.O. spec. And, uh, um, Thanks for uh, Kevin's new uh, solution. They provide yeah. more PCI lens. Yeah. Yeah, PCI lens. Yeah, sorry, just uh, you can sit and come with okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, come closer sorry, so I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So thanks for the uh, new spec uh, for, uh, for Ensemble X2. They will provide more PCI lens. So, you know, uh, that's a trend of server market. More and more PCI device will be used for server. And uh, uh, for this design, we, miss, uh, we must uh, have the um, many, many PCI lens to support a riser. Then we can make this kind of optimized design. And uh, uh, the, the, the trick, without saying too much about all the details about the yep. chip, is that they put more and more and more on the SOC, right? Yep. So that allows you to do more innovation out here, right? To do something yep. else. Yep. 
the SOC is a very good design for ARM. Uh, as uh, a very great man, the Song Sang from uh, SoftBank, uh, their story said uh, when Song Sang see the first SOC, he cried because it's amazing <laughs> design. And uh, we also think so because uh, if the traditional the 86 uh, architecture, uh, you, you need a CPU, you need a PCH, and you need a LAN chipset to do all the function. But the SOC will integrate a lot of function inside one CPU. And uh, even the TDP is good and the performance is good. And uh, for the Sound X2, they also use uh, this um, uh, SOC architecture. And uh, But this time the performance is really, really good. And uh, now uh, we are focused on, uh, they will have two type uh, types. One is the like this one is the socket type, and uh, also they maybe have the maybe have the mount, uh, mounting type SOC chipset uh, for Sound X2, and uh, so for thanks for this design, uh, we can have a, a lot of um, spake on the motherboard because you just have to uh, put this CPU and the CPU can make all the function uh, work. Uh, with the with the KVM, they have dual socket. And that's that's imperative. Uh, the the industry need this, right? So why do they need dual socket? Yeah, uh, that's a, ve a very good point because the dual socket will be the biggest market share in uh, in the server market. And uh, as you know, uh, until until currently uh, currently uh, today, um, most. Uh, servers use Intel solution, the 86 solution. And uh, inside the Intel solution, the biggest market, or around more than 17% uh, share, is from the dual socket solution. So that means dual, solution, uh, dual socket solution is the biggest market share in the server market. And uh, um, many cloud customers, uh, enterprise customers, they need a performance uh, from dual socket, because one socket just have the one uh, performance, but dual socket will double. So um, dual socket will be the mainstream server uh, solution. And uh, for uh, ARM64 uh, solution, uh, like AMD, uh, APM and uh, other companies, uh, they just uh, developing the um, single socket. It's for the entry server. But for the mainstream, uh, the biggest share of the market, it must use the dual socket. This and is a standard size for the mainstream server, and you always fit two in here. Yeah. You cannot fit three, four, or five or something. Um, some special case maybe use three, four, five, but three, four, five uh, will not change the um, market. And also three, four, five uh, usually use some for some special case. It's not for mainstream because it's too m too much performance. Uh, for uh, enterprise and clouded use. And uh, uh, there's a lot of RAM in here. Uh, that's important, right? Yeah. You want to have lots of RAM very close to the SOC? Yeah, uh, that's very important um, spec for uh, servers because, um, as you know, um, currently, current servers need more and more uh, memory caching. And uh, in Sunda X2, they also provide more uh, memory dims and more memory chan uh, channels more than uh, the current grant generate uh, Intel gr uh, grant generation and also more than their uh, current generation Sound X. So that's a very good point for the Sound X2. I think it's also the sales point of Sound X2. So um, hopefully the performance will be huge and they will announce more and more later about the performance. But if it's the right performance, that means this. This is just as the, one of the first prototypes you have, but maybe you'll have one customer contact you say, we want this, 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 and you make special for them, you make another one for somebody else. There's many possibilities, right? Yeah. Uh, so first, uh, the, um, the socket of the, the CPU of uh, Sound X2, it's very good performance. It's really, really powerful. So, um, but that you, you see there's the socket type. So Sound X2 provides not only one CPU, they have a lot of different uh, skew uh, for different needs. And th this is a very good point. And one more thing is, um, in our server design, because we are the uh, main uh, player of server market, so we have experience for different needs for the server design. So uh, if customer, uh, you, you currently you just see an engineer sample of just one skew, if customer want to have a different um, spec and different uh, use, for the server, we can change like backplane design, we can change motherboard design, 
even we can change some accessory to support different uh, to support different customer needs and uh, uh, also it's uh, it's very flexible design we use common design from 1U to you uh, like these servers so customer if you use 1U to you they will have the same motherboard and uh, uh, we just uh, change the thermal solution and uh, we also provide different storage uh, space for right customers now it has uh, how many has a whole bunch there yeah but it can that, be different this will be the mainstream like to you storage because it's have 24 2.5 uh hard disk uh here yeah and some more over there yep and also in the rear side we provide additional two um hard disk 2.5 hard disk so it's very good um very good uh solution for the storage and uh, we also provide a uh, 3.5 12 3.5 hard disk into you and for one year we provide 10 2.5 and the four 3.5 hard disk and what is that over there can you bring oh, this over that's a uh, fan um, air duct we call it air duct because you see that's the very special one uh, usually usually to you you just use the to you high heat sink it's enough for thermal but uh, why we choose it's a very cool design for the air duct because this air duct is specially for GPU, GPGPU solution. You know, in this service, you can use it as a, a traditional enterprise or cloud server, but it also can um, target HPC market. As um, SoundX2, also this uh, CPU target HPC market. And with this, um, but many customer uh, in server, they are also use AMD solution um, GPU, GPU car, or NVIDIA solution use the GPU, GPU, uh, GPU, GPU car. Um, it's the special design, but for the standard server, we also provide this uh, ability. Um, because like the uh, these two um, riser car, two slot can support one GPU car. That means if you, you want to use two GPU car in this this place, then this server can support two GPU car. And we uh, we can got another uh, modified design, um, not with the storage. Here is will be the two slot for uh, of the form factor uh, for high half lens. Then this server totally can support max three GP GPU cards. So the GP GPU works well with the Thunder Thunder X. Thunder X one uh, the GPU solution just uh, under developing, but for the Thunder X two. Uh, we are now uh, co-working with AMD and NVIDIA side to think about the new, uh, their new generation GPU GPU card. And this air duct is especially for GPU GPU card because you know one GPU GPU card uh, in, uh, of today's market it's around th uh, 300 watt. So it's very high TDP uh, in servers. So we need a, a air duct, a special air duct to make this um, thermal solution smooth. So maybe you can sit down again, uh, just uh, to have some idea. So th this can be optimized for storage, and if you optimize for storage, you can have more hard disk, or it's still gonna be in this area. Yeah, for storage, the max. This is the master skew. So uh, twenty total twenty six hard disk will be the maxi uh, maximum uh, storage uh, availability of the two U servers. So. Um, you know, we have different chassis and different SKU um, for currently uh, Intel solution. So to you, the, the maximum will be 26, but also if you want to, uh, many customers want to more storage, um, storage hard disk, then in that case, we also can provide like uh, for you or other, uh, other solution to meet the needs. So we need for to change cold, it. For cold storage, for more cold storage as possible? Um, is ARM not perfect for cold, super cold storage? Uh, I think uh, Sound X2 is not for cold storage solution. Right. It's much uh, powerful, much more powerful than cold storage. Because cold storage customers usually want low cost and uh, not very powerful performance and stable, uh, stable function only. Yeah. Right, and then there's all these other what what other solutions? If there's not GPU, what other things can go in there in the back? Is more yeah. networking, what sec security, some acceleration of something? Yeah, it's depend on customers' needs because uh, you know 
today more and more customer like uh, telecom company and the uh, cloud company they want to have more uh, LAN function and uh, some uh, some customer because today um, Tangi SAP Press and Tangi Base P uh, may be not enough. So from next year, uh, 25 gig SAP Press, um, even the 15, uh, 50 um, gig, giga, uh, gigabyte SAP Press and the 100 gigabyte will be the trend of the market. And that so, would just be added with, the, with one of those? Yeah, you can add add-on card to support that. And the one more thing is Kevin have their own uh, solution. It's called uh, QLogic. Kevian by QLogic uh, last year. So Kevian have their own uh, new solution. It's called QLogic Arrowhead. It can support 25 uh, giga SAP Plus and 50 giga SAP Plus and uh, 100 giga uh, SAP, QSAP Plus. So it's very powerful. And uh, also, um, if you use Avago's area side add-on card, you can uh, use our system to provide, uh, to provide the RAID function for the storage like uh, software ray H, uh, smart hba and uh, um, hardware ray also can be uh, provided with this add-on card uh, from air size side chipset so how about the uh, high performance uh, com scientific computing mm -hmm. like the CERN and stuff like that yeah is this good for them yeah for hpc uh, as i talked so first their cpus is very powerful you know uh, Currently, um, more and more people uh, talk about AI and machine learning, deep learning. So machine learning, deep learning also have two, um, two different uh, category. Only use CPU, they can uh, use some um, HPC and AI, basic AI function. But uh, if you want to have deep learning, you must have a GPU in servers. So uh, these servers can support both. And uh, for some high HPC storage, now they also use the function uh, on, on the spec, uh, it's called NVMe. And uh, you know more and more uh, guys use choose NVMe and use the SSD. The performance were much higher than currently uh, SAS uh, 12 giga solution. So like this kind of uh, all high performance function we have already considered and planned uh, into the same chassis in the same architecture. Cu uh, customer can choose this kind of function uh, in our servers. So I can imagine that your job must be quite exciting, right? To work on the ARM solutions because it gives new creativity, new, uh, it's, it's must be fun, right? You, you, you can say, hey, let's do something different and you can just do it maybe. Yeah, uh, we are very exciting this year because uh, Caviar make amazing uh, solution for uh, Sound X2 and uh, the real uh, market is coming this year because not only the highway side, uh, we also uh, co-work with some uh, ecosystem um, partners like uh, Red Hat, uh, Suse, Linero, and uh, to make the ecosystem uh, enough for the um, server solution. Because you know, currently, uh, customer will not just choose a highway. It's just only a highway. You cannot do uh, your application on just a highway. You need a uh, uh, software and OS, all things ready. And um, for Sound X1, the ecosystem is still some uh, bottleneck of the ARM solution. But for this years, uh, we just talk with our um, part, uh, ecosystem partners. They tell us uh, the time, time is coming because the ecosystem of OS and uh, uh, BIOS and uh, Huawei and the component will be uh, complete, completed in this year. So it's not, not only a Huawei, not only a chipset ready in this year, all the ecosystem will be ready. So we will make a new solution for customers. Uh, we can provide the second uh, um, alternative for a uh, of server solution. It's not only a, Z, a Z086 solution. So ARM64 um, uh, um, uh, solution will be um, much powerful in this year and we are very um, hope we, are, we will be the pioneer of this market. We can win more needs and uh, the real uh, solution will be completed in this year. <laughs> and uh, the samples shipping very, very soon and then the mass production is before the end of the year? Yeah, um, so for the timing, uh, I cannot tell the detail, but the first thing uh, we do both uh, Kevian SoundX to CRB and our own version servers. And for the CRB one, uh, it will be 
um, early uh, early developing and uh, it will be uh, ready maybe just in Q2 or Q3 and uh, for the sound X2 uh, we also want to make all the uh, all our own uh, production and uh, in the in the end before the end of this years and I think Kevin uh, if they Kevin decide to um, make all the things ready um, they were uh, launch the CPU in the uh, before the end of uh, this year also so um, we we want to launch this solu amazing uh, solution um, in uh, in this year. And there's a lot of cloud companies, but many many potential customers all over the world. So you, hopefully, you're gonna get very busy. Yeah, we are very busy now because um, from big customers and from small car uh, com uh, company and the from end the users, we have a lot of different needs, and uh, they all want to got the sample uh, to testing and uh, to make sure uh, the Sound X two is. Uh, amazing uh, solution and if they uh, tested this system and found that's um, comp uh, competitive uh, compares to uh, Intel solution I think it's a very big uh, business chance for us to make the ARM solution um, into the mainstream market.